our May art exhibit here at the Clayton Center. This month we are featuring artwork by Clayton High School students. And what better way to see the students at work and to meet the teachers than to go visit Clayton High School. I'm Tracy Cumberford. I am one of the art teachers here at Clayton High School. Uh, I teach all um, beginning visual arts, Arts One, um, this year. Ms. France and I, um, she's got the upper level art classes um, and, and I do have the beginning visual art classes. Um, between the two of us, we had about 50 pieces go up. One of the things as an art teacher that I love is that I, there's, there, you can teach so much. They do need to know the elements. They need to know the principles of art. They need to know basics. But you can turn all that into projects that they can hang on their walls. And so as, as, as we plan for our classes, as I plan for my classes, I plan with that in mind. Um, yeah, they're, they're going to have sketchbooks where they're going to have a lot of practice in it, but the projects that I plan, I really do plan for things that can be taken home with them, that can be hung up on the walls, that parents want to keep, that they want to keep and actually put up. It's not just a portfolio full of practice. So I do keep that in mind. So that at the end of the year, you do, we do have really good pieces. We kind of look for art that's interesting. You know, what's going to make people look at it and say, wow, what were they thinking when they did that? And how did they do that? That's the kind of art we look for. I'm Avery Varelli. I am a sophomore at Clayton High School and I am currently in Art One with Miss Cumberford. I have a monochromatic blue horse and then also a really colorful one and it has a whole bunch of squares on it and it's colored in different um, corresponding colors. I've been riding horses and I own my own horse. I've been around horses probably easily my whole life. I've been showing since I was four years old. So I completely understand the whole anatomy of the horse. Um, I enjoy them a lot, and I enjoy animals. So I, it, like, I love drawing animals. Um, I drew these, obviously, for a project in class. It's really cool knowing that my art is out there to the public, that anyone can see it. Um, my parents went out. I've had my boyfriend go out, my friends and family. It's really cool. We learn a lot of basics with everything, working with oil pastels to watercolors um, to any kind of paint just a lot of basics with the things um, that she's teaching us. My name is Tanya Grooms. I am in Art 1 in Ms. Cumberford's class. I have a mosaic art of a wolf. It was for a project for Ms. Cumberford and it was supposed to take um, scrap paper from magazines and make it into a giant picture out of, um, out of the scraps and I decided to make a wolf in a background of a forest. I like animals. I especially love um, dogs and cats. I like to draw dogs and cats a lot and um, I want to try something different so I had to try an uh, Arctic wolf. It was the first experience and I think it was really fun. It took a lot of work but it was worth it. It's really really awesome to have other people be able to see what you think is fun, what I think is interesting and it can influence a lot of other people by your art. I'm Kaylee Naylor. I'm in 10th grade and I'm in Art 1. I made the balloons mosaic and I picked balloons because they're really pretty to do and also you can show like the different lighting on them and I also really love the movie Up. It took a lot of time and work and glue on your hands so it makes me feel kind of proud that I improved that much in art and I was able to make something that was good enough to put up there. I'm Nicholas Kraft. I'm a sophomore at Clayton High School and I'm in Beginner's Art, Visual Arts 1. Mine is a mosaic of London. I have the telephone booth, like we don't have those in America I don't think, and they have the signature red ones and they have, I drew Big Ben in the back and I drew a double-decker bus. There wasn't an exact reason why I chose that. I saw someone doing a one of New York and I thought it was cool to do like a skyscraper like a city something like that so I was like what would be cool and I chose London because it was 
colorful and unique. I'm not known for like doing art, so I think it's cool when I have people texting me saying that they've seen my art at the Clayton Center, and I'm sort of taken back because I'm not used to that. We're learning the basics, so we're learning about the color wheel and like all the different colors that blend and all the colors that don't blend, which helps us with our projects and sketches. We're learning about the different types of textures, which we have to include in all of our sketches. So it makes our, our pictures look more realistic other than like 2D, it's like 3D. Clayton High School is known for their art because we have some good talent here and it's good that it's being shown. My name is Rachel Hunter. I am a junior, so 11th grade, and I'm an art one. I have a charcoal sketch of a couple wolves called the Pack Up, and then I have a chair with a dog on it, too. I was just wanting to do a sketch, and I really, I love wolves, so I was like, okay, that would be a nice subject. And charcoal as a medium is just really fun to work with. I mean, it's messy, but like the shading is a lot easier with charcoal than with pencil, so I thought that would be a good way to represent them. For the chair, we were doing an auction for the art program, so I decided to sketch my dog and do like a dog theme. So his face is on the base of the chair and with his tongue out, he's really adorable. And then like a, a quote on it and it's just a couple little common dog items, I guess. <laughs> it's kind of rewarding. I mean, I love to sketch, but I usually don't have things out there other than with my family. So just having it in the public is kind of fun. Do you know they're really nervous um, at first, some are a little nervous at first and because they don't want their work to be seen. They want it just to be in their portfolio. But then once it's up there and they see it framed or they see it on the wall, um, you can see the pride. And the same thing with the fish. We've done the fish and a lot of students didn't want their fish to go out on the wall or they didn't really think that theirs was going to be a good design until, until they saw it come to fruition. Ms. Franz teaches, right now she teaches art two, three, and four, and they work in a lot of crafts that in, in art two and three. Um, art four is more independent. You're getting ready. These are your students who are going to college. They're working on their portfolios. They're doing, um, if you go up to the Clayton Center, you'll see photography up there. We don't have photography classes here. They do that all on their own. Um, so she gives them the opportunities to do that here. Ms. Franz and I want to thank the Clayton Center and Clayton Visual Arts for, the, for this opportunity that they give us, that they give our students. Um, this is just an amazing experience for them. And it does get their work out and, and they get to show pride in that. And we just really appreciate what they're doing for us and our kids. Coming up in June, we have Mondo Roots Cultural Arts and Music Festival, June 4th. It's from one to nine. Um, you don't wanna miss it. It's gonna be a day full of music um, we have two stages going on. There's going to be music all day. We have visual artists that will be performing live for you to see. We will have activities for the kids, um, our chalk art contest, um, just so much to see and over 50 vendors featuring fine arts. Um, it's just going to be a fantastic day. You don't want to miss it. Also here at the Clayton Center on June 9th, we will have our Meet the Artist reception, and that will be for our Capture the Town photography competition. We have so many amazing photographers in the area, and I can't wait to see their take on Clayton. Hope to see you there.